Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me again for another demonstration today. We're going to be using our four inch round gel press today. Along with our brushes, we're going to be using our elements, Versafine, and we're going to create a really nice scene for our lovely fox to sit in. So let's start with Bermuda. First of all, I'm just going to ink up the brayer, transfer that ink straight onto the gel press. Nice thin layer, we don't need too much ink on. And then I've got my brushes just here that I've watered down. And I'm going to use my fan brush and just flick a little bit of this lovely colour over the gel press. So I've got a yellow, this is our olive green, and these are really watered down quite a lot. I don't want the colour to be too intense. And then a little bit of blue as well. This is, um, I think it's the cobalt blue, but again, really watered down a lot. And now taking our multifarious card, I'm going to simply pop that over the top, give that a smooth over. And let's see what we've got. And there we have it. And you don't have to do this technique on the round gel press, of course, you can use whichever size that you have. And now we're going to ink up our fox. So I've got the tulip red here, which is a really bright, bright red. And we're going to calm that down with the black, the nocturne. I'm just going to use the finger dauber and just gently pat over the top, around the edges. I just want a hint of that red. Okay, let's see how we got on with that. I hope you can see under the camera there how much of that I've inked up. Now let's pop him down around about there. Give that a good press and let it rest a while on the card. And there he is. Just that hint of colour really does make it pop. So let's just ground the little fellow. And so I've got my mask here, my hill mask. I'm going to grab a stencil brush. I've got the grey here. This is the graphite from our elements range. And all I'm going to do, take a little bit off. And then I'm going to flick that colour up. There we go. So I've left this white bit here because I want it to look a little bit snowy. I'm going to add some white speckles a little bit later on. So 
Um, so I've used that just to create that snowy effect down here where he's sitting. So now I'm going to use some foliage to go around the edge. And what have we got? I've got, start with our little maple leaves. I'm going to ink up in the shady lane. First of all, I'm just going to follow the line around the edge. I'm not going to go all the way around. We've got some holly as well. So let's ink this up in the golden meadow. Don't these colours look fabulous together? just fading out around the edge there so it doesn't suddenly come to a stop just gradually got another little foliage here and this time something with a bit of contrast I think I'll use the twilight I'm going to stamp off first just to test how dark it is I don't want it to be too overpowering. Now we've got a lovely little berry stamp and I'm going to ink this up now in the Nocturne because I do want this to stand out. red glaze pen here so I'm going to just colour in and you can see how that really does stand out now just pop a few little dots just to even out that colour and now we've got our lovely new holographic glitter it's a beautiful glitter and I think it really does justice to any kind of dark background it really does stand out so we've got our glue pen here and I'm going to dot 
all around the edge. Okay, we're nearly there. A few little dots around. And our glitter. Let's just take that over the top. And see what that gives us. And you can see the sparkle in that is just amazing. And we're going to pop a few Christmas words on. This time using the twilight. So in cap, I'm going to take off and again in cap, take off So to finish, I actually saw this technique from our lovely Eileen Godwin and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. I used to use the acrylic white paint, which of course you can still, but if you've got a Posca pen, wait till it starts to come out and then all I'm going to do is just tap. just to add a little bit of snow and there it is completely finished well thanks again for joining me today I hope you enjoyed the demonstration um, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves um, and thanks Eileen for the tip on the white Posca pen. I think I'll be using that a lot in the future. You take care. Bye for now.